Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn about advanced steps on how to use F formula in Excel. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master business analytics skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various business analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate program from Purdue University in collaboration with Amazon, Google and Microsoft. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts from top tire product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a business analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a business analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. So without further delay, let's get started with the advanced steps on how to use F formula in Excel. Now I have started my Microsoft Excel and you can see I have a really small data set. So let's get started by the simple F function as we know it. Let's say we want to find out the result of the following students and there is a criteria, let's say less than or above some number they have passed and less than or above some number they are fail right now let's get started with the if function equals to if and the cell if this number is less than 35 then the result is fail else result is pass now enter the answer is pass and now if you drag the same formula across all the cells you have the results so this is how we basically know the function now let's advance to a higher level where we have multiple criteria you also want the result like we got in the first sheet which is pass or fail and along with the result we also want the grade in one single if function let's try to do that so let's revise the simple if if function is less than 35 then fail else pass now our multiple level of f so if the same cell okay we must equals to if the max cell is greater than equal to 80 so here we have the criteria so if it is greater than equal to 80 then it should be an a grammar another if it's similar to a nested if which you use in programming so another if select the if function by using tab key and then the same cell which is e8 if it is greater than or equal to 65 according to the criteria then you should be printing b comma another nested f function if the same cell e8 is greater than or equal to 55 it should be c comma if e8 is greater than or equal to 45 then you must be printing b if e8 is greater than or equal to 35 then you must be printing e else it should be an f now close the bracket just ensure that you get the black one which means that all the brackets are in the right place just press enter and drag the same formula across all the rows and you will have the grades and to make life easier you can also choose if s or ifs method so let's also try to explore that drag the same cell across here and add lines and equals to instead of a simple if you can go to the last one which says ifs right now ifs will make things easier instead of using if inside a nested if you can just write your conditions and your grades 
So the same cell which is E8 should be greater than or equals to 80. Then in such scenario, you can just print A, comma, the second condition, which is the same E8 should be greater than or equal to 65. Then you can get a B, comma, if the same marks as greater than or equals to 55, then you can print me C, comma, if the same E8 is greater than or equal to 45, then you can print me D. Just make sure that you're placing the commas in the right place. If the same E8 cell is greater than or equals to 35, then you can print me E. And if it is none of those, then if it is none of those, so you're indicating that with a number one, then you can print me F. Okay. Enter. There you go. Write the same formula across all the rows and you have your grades. And with that, we have covered two, three methods. The simple F, multiple nested F and FS. Now let's go to the next sheet where we have another one. So, so far we have uh, concentrated on one particular cell. Let's say if E8 is greater than a number, then pass or fail. Now, let's say we have multiple criteria. The marks should be above certain number. And also, along with it, you should also have attendance. Let's say we have a rock in the last section. And uh, we want, we, if we consider the result only by number is passed, but if we have a condition that let's say if you're an engineering student you already know that you have a minimum criteria of 60 percent of attendance right so let's say we uh, are judging the result of rock based on both numbers as well as attendance then rock is a failure candidate right so how do you decide based on two conditions so that's our condition here that's our criteria here so let's try to investigate with the same f function so equals to f select the function by using tab and before you get ahead with the condition try to include an and function press tab to select and now select the cell for marks which should be greater than let's say 35 and also comma the attendance cell which is f8 should be greater than percentage so we have the percentage in the f column so give the decimal numbers so what's the minimum number which, which we are looking at is 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 if both these conditions are satisfied then print me pass else print me fail bracket enter now drag the same formula across all the cells and here you have the results so you should be getting both numbers above 35 and the attendance should be above 60. now this was the next type of condition or tip for using advanced level f conditions now coming here so we will be using the next uh, tip for using uh, f conditions so the only difference is in place of f we will be using the function choose so here we have list of professors and days of a week so let's say we need to find out which professor will be scheduled to your class on a specified date right so here we have dates and based on this particular calendar you will be receiving professors jenny albert shravan gilbert swati john and karen now let's try to use the choose function so first we need to extract the weekday so equals to weekday of the date comma and here you have numbers so number one sunday which means it is considering Sunday as the first day of a week. But according to our calendar, we have Monday as the first day of a week. So we need to select the second one, press tab to select. There you go. If you close the bracket, you will be receiving the number four, right? So on 1st of February, 2024, we have Thursday, right? And this is not what we need. We need which professor is going to come here. So Professor Gilbert is expected to arrive on 1st of February. So we need to make minor changes to this. So we need, we need to be using choose function over here. 
first have to select and comma if it is first then it should be prof gen second one is prof albert so on There you go. Now enter. So some typo mistake here. We missed double colon here. And now try to enter once again. There you go. Now if you drag the same formula across all the cells, you have your particular professors for the dates. There you go. And to make things a little more easier, instead of using choose, you can use index match because we are getting the address here, right? A cell address. So you can use index match equals to index of week day press up to select of this particular cell comma second option choose that so far we have the match function and now we need to give the index for this particular one so the index is from k7 to k30 so this is our index and the match we already have now press enter as we drag the same formula across all the cells you have your results yeah so a small mistake here just quickly undo it and if you double click the formula here you can see we have not fixed the range so let's fix the range using function key f4 now enter now drag the same formula across all the cells now you should be having no errors there you go and those were a few advanced steps on how to use if formula in Excel. And with that, we have a session on how to use if function in a few advanced variations. And if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the data set that we used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. And our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.